What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys, today we are taking a look at the best weapons in GTA 5. So you guys know in GTA, a lot of weapons, a lot of options for each type. You have a lot of options that you can pick from. So today we're just going to go over the entire weapon wheel. I will tell you guys the best guns in my opinion for each type. And then at the end of the video, you guys will have a good custom loadout. So first of all, the pistols will start at the top. The first one, basically the up and atomizer, it's not really a pistol maybe, but it's definitely a gun that you need in GTA. The main reason why you need this is basically in missions, for example, in delivery missions, in resupply missions, sometimes you have it that a vehicle gets stuck, and if you have the up and atomizer, you can definitely use it to get this vehicle unstuck, so it's definitely a must-have. Next up in the pistol category, we have the AP pistol. And this is one that you won't use that much on foot, in my opinion, but it's definitely very good while you're driving a car. For the AP pistol, I also recommend that you guys get the extended clip, because if you get this, you actually have 36 bullets in one round instead of 18, and this makes it a lot better to use while driving, because if you're driving, you want a lot of bullets, you don't want to reload that much, and with the AP pistol with the 36 bullets, it's definitely good, for example, if you're trying to shoot a passenger or a guy in a car. Last one for the pistols, we have the heavy revolver. This one personally, it's not one that I use a lot, but it's definitely a very good pistol that you should also add to your weapon loadout. So the heavy revolver, the main thing that's very good about it, it's basically the damage. So over here you guys can see it, one shot without even getting a headshot, and this is obviously very good. So for the people that are kind of struggling maybe to get a headshot, this gun might be a very good solution to that. So over here on purpose, not shooting them in the head, just to show you guys that it's also one shot, one kill. Of course, a huge disadvantage with the heavy revolver is kind of the fire rate. So for example, in a mission where you have a lot of NPCs, it's not really the best gun to use. If you guys want to upgrade the revolver, by the way, to Mark II, then you will need a weapon workshop. For example, in the MOC, you can have one in the arcade as well. In a couple of other locations, I think as well. But if you have a weapon workshop, you can just click on the weapon, you can upgrade it, and then you basically have it Mark II. If you have it Mark II, you also have the option for different ammo types. You have to unlock some of these with the bunker research though. But for example, the full metal jacket rounds are pretty good. They give you extra damage while shooting vehicles. And also they go through bulletproof glass. So for example, over here, just shooting this car, I think five or six times and then it already explodes, which is of course very good. Next up, we've got the machine guns and this might be the category that I use the least in GTA. But definitely a very good gun is the Combat MG and also if you can upgrade it, the Mark II version obviously better. A upgrade that you should get for the Combat MG by the way is definitely the extended clips. If you get the extended clips you actually have 200 bullets in one round. So this is the perfect gun if you just want to spray and kill. So for example in survival or in just any mission where you have a lot of NPCs that you have to kill, a lot of people that you have to kill, this gun is perfect. Also the accuracy on this gun very good also the damage very good easy to get headshots so it's definitely a gun that i should use myself more as well next category we have the rifles and this might be the gun that i use the most in gta i think that's the case for a lot of people but the special carbine again if you can upgrade the mark ii version also but this gun is just a beast i like to call it the headshot machine because it's very easy to get headshots with this gun also i got the extended clips on this as well so that i have 60 bullets so then I can just keep on killing also this gun, very easy to shoot with, very good handling, good accuracy, good damage, just a beast of a gun. Next category we have the snipers and I think a lot of people already use the heavy sniper as well. Again, if you can upgrade it, get the Mark II version. And with the Mark II version you will also have the option for explosive rounds. Again, this is something that a lot of people already use. The thing is of course with the explosive rounds they're a little bit more expensive and also you have a lot less of them. So for example, if you just want a regular sniper, you can also just get the extended clips and then the heavy sniper will also be a beast. The main reason why people get the explosive rounds, by the way, is just to take out helicopters or for example hydras, because it's very fast, so the bullets are very fast, you can't dodge them. And I think for the hydra it's like two or three bullets before it explodes, so that makes it very OP as well, of course. Next category, we've got the shotguns. First one, the Assault Shotgun, so for this one, again, I have a couple of options that you guys can put in your loadout. But the Assault Shotgun, definitely one of my favorite guns in GTA. Very good fire rate, the range is also incredible for a shotgun. Very easy to get headshots as well, the damage is also crazy. So even if you miss a headshot, 
you can just keep on spraying and then you will still get the kill. For example, in the KO Preco Heist, you can use this weapon if you're trying to do it on stealth. If you miss the headshot, so the first shot, you can actually keep on spraying and then the guards actually don't get alerted. Another shotgun that was added with the KO Preco Heist DLC is the Heavy Shotgun. And this one is very similar to the Assault Shotgun. The only difference is basically the range. If it had the same range, it would kind of be the same gun. But this one also a very good shotgun, good damage, good accuracy and also very good fire rate. It's just the range that kind of makes it a little bit worse than the Assault Shotgun. But also if you don't like the Assault Shotgun for example, you can also put this one in your loadout. Next category, we've got the heavy weapons for this one obviously. One isn't enough, so a couple that you guys should have in your loadout. But the first one basically the grenade launcher. This might be the one that I actually use the most. But it's very easy to blow up vehicles with this one. Very good fire rate, so you can actually blow up stuff very fast as well. If you guys want to take out a helicopter with the grenade launcher, by the way, also perfectly possible. The aim is kind of hard though, so you might miss a lot in the beginning, but definitely also possible. The thing is though, the range of the grenade launcher isn't that great. Next up for the heavy weapons, we have a must-have, the RPG. Better range than the grenade launcher. The fire rate is lower though because you basically have to reload after every rocket. Easier to take out aircrafts though. And also the thing of the RPG, the damage is much higher. So for example, over here I have my insurgent pickup. I think with the Oppressor Mark II, if you want to take it out, it's 27 bullets. And over here with the RPG, I think it was like 5 or 6. So a lot more damage than humming missiles, for example. Then the last one for the heavy weapons, we have the Humming Launcher. I know the tracking sometimes can be shit with this one, but definitely still should be in your loadout. For example, for helicopters, doesn't matter NPC or player, it still does the job. But for example, if you're trying to hit a jet with the Humming Launcher, I think it depends on the person flying that jet, but I think most people will be able to dodge that missile. Or for example, over here, just a regular police car, the tracking failed but like i said for helicopters and stuff like that it's perfectly fine last category we've got the throwables or the explosives and i think the best one with this is just the sticky bombs maybe also the proximity mines but if you need to blow up someone for example a car in a mission i think everyone just uses sticky bombs so sticky bombs for the last one so guys that was the entire weapon wheel the loadout is done now all that we have to do is basically modify the weapon wheel a little bit so that it looks cleaner if you want to do this you basically need a gun locker. You can have this in your CEO office or for example your facility. It's basically an upgrade on some properties that you can get. If you have a gun locker, just go to it, open it. You will see all the categories for the weapons and then just press on one category. You will see all the weapons in that category and the ones that you don't want in your weapon wheel, just put them on height and this way you only have the guns that you want to use in your weapon wheel and it looks a lot cleaner. So guys, that was it for this video. If there was any weapon that you guys think that also should be in this video, just let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description and peace out you guys.